Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new legend fullback Larry Zonka. Before we hop into it though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers with so the subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content and also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight over on Twitch playing Weekend League. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And the shout out for today's video goes to my man, Zachary Kirkwood, shout out to Zachary Kirkwood for commenting the emoji on last video. Okay, so here is the man himself, Larry Zonka, and I know what you're probably thinking right now. You're probably thinking, this Legend Weekend was no good. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the best Legend Weekend that we could have got, but after last weekend, I was expecting definitely a drop-off in the quality of Legends that we were going to get because last week was so crazy. That I had a feeling that yes, this week it was kind of going to go down a little bit. But I'm telling you right now, people are kind of overlooking this Larry Zonka card because he's a fullback. This guy is going to be a demon even at running back. I'm telling you right now, this guy is going to be an all-around playmaker. 86 speed with 87 strength. 89 awareness. 89 carry with 89 run block. 89 lead block with 90 impact block. And I'm telling you right now... This card is going to be one of the most annoying cards to face in the game. Not at the running back position necessarily, but even at fullback. Because if a guy that you're playing is willing to put this many coins into a fullback, the guy's going to be a runner. The guy's going to be getting out in front, laying dudes out, laying out your linebackers, your safeties, putting them on their back. This Larry Zonka card is kind of going to be like the Christian Okoye of Madden 20 if you played that game. So I'm very actually excited for this card. And as far as being a runner, 82 juke move, 87 stiff arm with 91 truck, 90 break tackle. And yeah, he literally has like better run block, better lead block stats than a lot of linemen in this game right now. This card should play a lot better than my CJ Ham does. And I think that my CJ Ham plays very, very well. So I'm honestly very excited to see what a high overall fullback can do in this year's game. And as far as abilities go, I'm going to try Puller today. I'm not sure how Puller works, but I feel like if he's in like I form, the way like he kind of, you know, like it kind of gives him that gray line though, I guess, pull. I want to see if that will activate uh, on those kind of runs, which it should. If it doesn't, I'd be kind of disappointed, but I want to try out Polar Elite today. Also, does get post up. Identifier, pretty cool 1 AP. Um, clutch doesn't matter, but Bulldozer 1 AP on him. Screen Protector 1 AP, kind of interesting. Backlash. Um, does not get RB Apprentice, Bruiser, or Armbar, unfortunately, but some pretty solid abilities. Most people usually don't put, you know, abilities on their fullback, but if Polar Elite is the move, I might think about maybe keeping this guy because I know how good Polar is for offensive linemen and offensive linemen don't have 86 speed with crazy high impact block yet. So I can only imagine how good Polar is about to, use, about to work on Larry Zonka if it works the way that I'm, I'm thinking it will work. But yeah, let's just hop right into it. I'm going to use Larry at fullback. I can also even put him at tight end if I really want to. That's kind of why I like the versatility of tight ends and fullback. So fullback, you know, maybe some tight end, maybe some pass catching looks, and also obviously some running back looks as well. That is the plan. But uh, yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game number one, we are facing Exposum EJ. Uh, I didn't see his top three because for whatever reason, the top threes were both, you know, grayed out. But here we go. And the ball is going to go out of the back of the end zone. Our ball to 25. And the plan is... I form close, just feed LT to start, I think, and then we'll start feeding Zonka a little bit, showing off his speed and showing off what he can do as a ball carrier. But here we go. First play, I want to see if Polar Elite lights up. If Polar Elite lights up, it could be, I, I think it might be kind of game breaking. Imagine if he got like Nasty Streak or something like that. If they let like these fullbacks get Nasty Streak this year, it actually might be over. But, and also the way that dude's pancake already. Like, I've seen Brandon Marshall lay some nasty pancakes. I can only imagine what Larry Zonka's about to do. And I actually didn't activate Larry. I forgot to activate him, but that's okay. We still have him as our lead blocker. He does get out there. And that's okay. I'm not sure who just tackled me right there. But at halftime of this game, I will put Polar on. I will remember. I forgot to put Polar on. I'm actually th so mad at myself. But, hey, if this game does get to halftime, I, I will put Polar on. If it does not, we'll hop into another game. And Polar will be on for that. So if you want to see Polar, I apologize. 
I forgot to put it on, but you guys see Zonka. He's getting out there doing his thing already. And we're in, we're out, and we're gone with LT. Maybe, should be, and we're gone. There we go. But you guys see what Zonka is doing. He's getting out in front of my fullback. I mean, in front of my running back. I just didn't feel like I'm trying to slow down. And that's without Puller. I don't know if, if the ability does end up working. It could be kind of scary because taking one guy out of the run fit could make a big difference in a run, as you guys can see right there. So two runs for LT and Zonka did work on both those runs. I, I definitely noticed it. And we're here we're underneath everything. Throws over the middle. Could be our could be our rock right here. And Jamar Chase has agged me twice on this drive. And my, my corners didn't want to play. And man, these last two game plays, I've been struggling on defense. I feel like I... I'll probably stop this guy. I, I probably will. I, I feel like he had two kind of lucky plays. Let's throw Zonka a carry. Let's see what he can do out there. I'm not sure if I can like do a quick switch or whatever, but oh, I kind of wish I had Oh no, I won't put Zonka. Wait, no, that's not Zonka. There he is. Okay. Now let's do a little stretch run. See if Zonka can make something happen at running back. Gonna try to go for a stiff arm or something like that. We'll see what we can do. I mean, that right side's looking nice. Zonka. Oh, I broke a tackle and I went for the juke and we get chop blocked. But, yeah, I think he didn't feel as good as I thought he would at running back. Keep in mind, this card is not powered up right now. But let's go. Let's put him back at fullback, see what he can do. And I can also try some fullback runs as well, which always work pretty well. So let's see if Zonka can get out. We're watching him, number 39. And he kind of just stood there, didn't do much. Try a nice little run up the middle here with LT. So we get Zonka up the middle there. And he, got, he had inside stuff on LT. I think Zonka actually... I mean, laid the block right there on Quinnen. And this dude, LT, is just a monster right now. Four carries, 87 yards doing his thing right now. Oh, here we go. We're going to try going off the edge again. And Zonka, give me a block. I'm not sure who Zonka thinks he's going for. And we get really good stick work, really good stick work right there by LT. Six carries, 100 yards. And I, I, I swear I have a fullback run in here somewhere. I just, oh, I think it's my weak run. Okay, yeah, here's the fullback dive. It should be in here. Yeah, fullback dive. This run is actually not that good. But it could work well, maybe, with Zonka. We can get one broken tackle, maybe hit a hole. And I want to try air trucking. I don't think he can actually air truck, but I'm telling you right now, against these like against these, against these these corners and safeties right now, you should eat as far as trucking and broken tackles with Zonka. And just a very frustrating card to face, like I said, because he will just continue to chunk yardage on you. And there's going to be a Zonka touch. Nope, down to one. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Run right back. Should be a run commit. Should be a run commit. Will he run commit? I don't know. I'm going to try to quick snap him a little bit. Nothing's working, and Zonka, touchdown, there we go. Jamar Chase absolutely sunned me the last two drives. We're off the edge, good throw by him right there, and he is driving with ease right now, man. It is looking, he's making it look way too easy. Trying to set it up again. I don't know what I'm trying to do right now. We gotta get closer here so we can kind of... I'm not underneath anything. Oh, goes back over the middle like that. Yeah, this is bad. Bro, I have not seen a dude get more lucky. I feel like I'm just... Dude, I feel like I'm playing, like, all right defense, but this dude is just... Oh, my. Like, he just got a nasty spin into a into a broken tackle, and he's scoring just way too easy. I'm really struggling to score. This is actually terrible. This is not good. I mean, thankfully, Zonka's doing something, and this game, and this game play isn't going completely to waste, but, man, my defense in the last two games... That, I mean, the last two gameplays has just been atrocious, man. Like, dudes are walking down the field on me. Or I guess running, because, dude, that, that was this guy's got two touchdowns in, like, 35 seconds. I want to try to get Zonka open on this nice little uh, Texas route, I guess you would probably call this. And he's open underneath, and he catches it, and we, we, we broke two tackles. And, yeah, this card, I'm telling you, in the secondary, this guy's going to feast. He's going to eat. He's going to put dudes on their backs. The card's going to be an absolute problem, like, as you guys literally just saw right there. Um, in a run, even that, even when it's not a strong, you know, it's not even a strong run or an I-form run, and we're still getting really good blocking, and LT breaking tackles, and we're gone once again to end the half, and now at halftime, we're gonna do one thing, we're gonna put abilities on Zonka, I will not forget this time, and dude, dude, I kind of like that, I never thought about doing that, I never, thought about, I never thought about putting a good fullback into that position, because, I mean, that, that formation is really good for passing, and I really don't throw the ball to my tight ends out of that too much, so, I mean, as far as running the ball, that's a that's much better than having a tight end out there because not only is the speed decent, he also can run block and lead block and has good awareness and stuff like that. And if I put Polar on him, that's kind of like having a like a mobile playmaking offensive lineman out there. Loki, not a bad idea. Zonka might be a card I think about going to get once his price does drop a little bit more because right now he'll be, he'll be a little bit expensive the first weekend, like this weekend, probably throughout this week. But next weekend... His price will drop, so I'm, I might wait until then to get him, but I do kind of like that concept 
I kind of like that idea. I, I might mess around with it. I mean, especially for the rest of this game. I, I really like that. Okay, so it is fantastic that EA has decided to add these, um, to add this ability to change your stuff at halftime. But when you actually just can't do it, that's also interesting. So it's a great ability. It, it's a cool feature, but if it worked, that would be also pretty nice. So unfortunately, no puller on Zonka today. I, maybe I'll try it in like a practice mode or something like that after this game, because this game I feel like it's going to go the distance. And it wouldn't let me change. I, I tried. I should have put it on before the game. That's my bad. But still, you would think a feature would be added into the game. You'd think it would work every time because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that would just make sense. But it, it's whatever. It's whatever. They're a small company. They're still, you know, you know, the funds are short for EA Sports. They're, they're, still, they're still trying to figure some things out. But you would hope that stuff like that would work. You know what I mean? It's just frustrating. But if we can get a pick here, that could definitely be game changing. No one's open right now. My ball. We have Buda Baker with Acrobat. That's game right there. You'll love to see it. And, I mean, it's not game unless he quits. If he doesn't quit, it won't be game. Okay, he's staying. And, yeah, man, I wish that those, I wish I could have put the ability on him. I really do. But let's just go back to the run here with Zonka. And um, get me off the edge here. 24 is who? Is that JOK? I don't even know. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure 24 is JOK. Let's go Let's go short side of the field. Try and make something happen. I, yeah, no. Not, I, I haven't had much success running the ball besides... I guess that one fullback dive worked pretty well, but outside of that, not, not, nothing too crazy has happened. I probably should have said something about that, but Zonka just put another man on his back. I'm not sure if you guys saw that one too, but this dude Zonka is doing nothing but pancake dudes out there, which you can't ask for anything more than that. When a dude's laying on his back on a football field, he can't tackle you. So Zonka is so far doing his job to say the least. Let's try to get outside again. He keeps, he really, oh, that was actually good. That was a good tackle by him if no one plays this and they don't get me outside zonka stiff one. okay i wanted a broken tackle it's okay we can't be getting tackled by ward right now like there's no way ward is tackling us right there's no way all right we need a, we need a huge fourth down conversion here man it's got to be huge and no one's open but brandon marshall over the middle good dot by josh allen easy completion this guy i'm sure that's frustrating this guy's definitely frustrated right now he was so close and I'm pretty sure I actually have a cross screen in this playbook. So we can also try that if we want to. We have a nice stretch run. And Zonka picking up linebackers right there, which you, you can't ask for anything more than that. I mean, having a, a tight end that can block like him. And this guy, I don't blame him for pausing the game. I don't even know how many yards I ran for. 208, and he's going to go ahead and quit on that. I don't blame him. I converted, I converted twice on fourth down. And yeah, that, that's going to do it right there, man. Yeah, so I wanted to put Puller on Zonka. I put it on him. We're in a solo right now. And I just want to see if it lights up on, like, these Loki runs, for example. I want to see if it's going to light up. I'm in, like, a flashback solo, so that's why I got, like, Daniel Jones and AJ Brown guys like that. But let's see if it lights up. And I didn't see it light up there. We did get a good block, though. I wonder what kind of runs it will light up on. Let's just keep testing stuff and see. I want to, I'm, I'm actually kind of testing this for myself for the first time. I actually have no idea. Let's put Zonka here, and then we'll go with this run again. Because if it lights up here, it's not bad. I mean... Polar Elite significantly increases effectiveness of pull blocks. So let's see if this works here. This should be considered a pull block. Okay, that lit up. Okay, that one. Okay, no, that lit up. Yeah, I know I'm in arcade mode as well, but I know that the effectiveness of the block is going to be a whole lot better in here. But as long as it's lighting up, I'm actually kind of sad that it didn't light up. Maybe because it was an RPO, it didn't light up. Let's try iPhone Close maybe. But, I mean, I would think that the way the fullback is pulling right there, I would think that would be considered a pulling pulling elite maybe i i don't know i don't know that's it's kind of just my guess but let's try it again light up no, it, yeah it's not lighting up on those runs but it was lighting up on why am i set what was going on right there i don't even know but okay so that's one thing i have i i can definitely tell that on that on like runs where i guess he's on the line of scrimmage it pulls that's considered pulling but when he's off the line of scrimmage actually playing fullback it hasn't lit up yet for me we'll try it one more time maybe i gotta motion him or something i don't know i'm trying i'm trying a lot of things right here and it, he didn't even block anyone right there. He just fell. Let's do it one more time. One more run. I just want to see. I, I'm, I'm trying to test this out. Okay, let's please block someone here, Zonka. I'm not sure where my play art went. And I won't, okay, I guess we're going this way. We're, we're moving him over. Let's see if it lights up now. And he's just not blocking anyone. All right, all right. I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to work on those fullback runs, but it will work if you have him on the line of scrimmage and you want to play him as like a tight end, maybe. I don't really know, but it, unfortunately, Puller Elite does not work. For, for my for my very short testing on um yeah on these runs I'll, I'll try one more time but from what i'm seeing yeah no i i don't think so i'm trying to motion snap it maybe and yeah it didn't light up again okay so he's getting good blocks yeah we're in arcade but 
still, yeah, it's not it's not working the way I thought it was going to. So I guess in a way I'm happy. I guess I couldn't put it on because I would have been disappointed in the gameplay. But still, it was a good gameplay for Zonka, even without the ability. The card balled out. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Larry Zonka gameplay. And the first thing I want to say is this card right now, I don't think is worth it. I mean, it's, a, it's his first legend card. It's our first high overall fullback that has stats that look like this. So I feel like he's going to be kind of expensive. I'd probably wait until next legend weekend if you do want a card like this. Um, for now, I'll be using CJ Ham because... Yeah, I, I do think that Zonko was way better, but, but for what Zonka is going for right now this weekend, I don't think it's worth it, and his price will only go up throughout the week. I expect his price to kind of come down a little bit next Legend weekend, so I would wait on Zonka, but still, yeah, a really good card, and I feel like if you are someone that runs iForm runs, yes, getting a fullback might, might not apply to everyone watching this video, but if you're someone like me who likes iForm runs, likes running the ball... I think getting a fullback like this is a major plus. Maybe they'll drop an Okoye soon. I feel like if they do drop an Okoye, he will definitely take Zonka's spot on a lot of people's teams. But if you are someone that loves fullbacks and kind of needs that playmaker that can block for you, if you need help blocking, just maybe a tight end even, Zonka is not a bad option. As a ball carrier, I'm not going to lie. He broke a lot of tackles, which is, yes, good for the short yardage scenarios. But as far as, you know, getting outside runs on toss plays or stretch plays, if you want to play this guy at fullback, might not work it. I mean, more playing at running back, he might not be as effective, obviously. But I'm um, also, yeah, I, I forgot to say it in the intro, but he actually does get Giants chems too powered up. So again, the Giants theme team is eating right now. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, Brandon Marshall, and now Larry Zonka. And I think I'm missing one more, maybe. But yeah, Giants theme team is feasting right now. Oh, also, yeah, Michael Strahan. So yeah, Mike. Uh, yeah, Giants theme team, very underrated. I mean, not underrated really. I mean, people are kind of noticing now, but they kind of snuck up on some people. But yeah, this card definitely a card I recommend if you do need a high overall fullback. But I would just hold off, maybe wait a week or two before going to get this guy. But definitely a card I enjoyed. If you are still watching though, let's comment the dolphin emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.